Hi, I'm John Belcher, Law Offices of John Belcher. This is volume two in a series of rock and roll and the law. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about the Rolling Stones, and in particular, the founder of the Rolling Stones, who is not Mick Jagger and not Keith Richards. In fact, the founder of the Rolling Stones was an individual by the name of Brian Jones. Uh, Brian Jones put out an advertisement in the Jazz News, which was a uh, London uh, publication of sorts, uh, seeking to form a band. And uh, he uh, got people to join the band. And uh, when they booked their first gig, uh, they didn't have a name. And he said, well, uh, he looked down at a Muddy Waters uh, album and saw Rolling Stone and said, we're the Rolling Stones. Uh, Brian was certainly a larger than life uh, character. Um, he had a way with women. Um, and by the time he was 22 years old, he had four children with uh, four different women. Uh, in fact, uh, the manager of the Rolling Stones had to make a hush payment to the fourth uh, baby mama that uh, Brian Jones had. Uh, Brian was getting an extra five pounds above and beyond what his bandmates got on their gigs and was the self-described uh, leader of the band, a very talented uh, musician who not only was a, a phenomenal slide guitarist, uh, but played almost any instrument other than drums or uh, bass or guitar that you would hear on the early Rolling Stones albums. Um, there were divisions that arose within the band uh, as the new manager recognized that you need to have a songwriting team and you needed to control all your own music. Um, and that was uh, Richards and uh, Jagger. Uh, but what really poisoned uh, the situation with Rolling Stones and Brian Jones was his arrest on May 10th, 1967 for marijuana. Uh, and as we look back at it today, we think, well, you know, what's the big deal? It was a very big deal back then. Uh, and although he didn't serve any time, uh, a year later, he was arrested on May 21st, 1968, again, for uh, marijuana possession and for allowing uh, people in his flat to uh, smoke uh, marijuana. Although um, Mr. Jones didn't serve any time, for the marijuana charges, it prevented him from getting a visa to come to the United States. Um, and Jagger and Richards and the rest of the band very much uh, wanted to tour the US. Um, and the fact that he could not come to the US was problematical. So they were really faced with a choice. Um, and uh, the other members of the Rolling Stones uh, set up a meeting and fired him from the band. Now, uh, one of the theories is that uh, he was doing drugs and, you know, was uh, not reliable, uh, but frankly, doing a lot of drugs uh, really wasn't enough to get you fired from the Rolling Stones. Um, in this particular case, it was the inability to get a visa. Uh, following um, his eviction from the band, uh, Brian Jones did have some other uh, uh, musical interests and tried to get together some other uh, groups without much uh, success. Uh, ultimately, uh, living with his uh, girlfriend on um, July 3rd, 1969, he was found dead in the bottom of his pool, uh, age 27. Uh, and he began the 27 Club, uh, which included Jimi Hendrix, uh, Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin, and um, and so on. Um, in retrospect, we forget um, how serious marijuana um, used to be, uh, but the fundamental problem there was that the Stones had a choice, Brian Jones or Tour of the US, and it was an obvious choice for them. Losses of John Belcher, rock and roll,